Hello YouTube, the Jersey Shark here. Sorry for being on a hiatus for a long time. That honestly wasn't planned or anything, but it's been a long time since I've done a video game haul, so I figured, uh, why not? I know I've gotten a crap ton of, uh, Switch games since my last, uh, whatchamacallit, video and whatnot. And the only game pictured here that I... Did get recently, but I don't have currently on me, is uh, Donkey Kong Country for the Nintendo 64, give me a sec. Of course I forget games. <laughs> uh, but, did I say for the 64? I'm at the Game Boy Advance, jeez. Got that from my friend Brandon for free, but have a lot of games. I have... Uh, one I'm still waiting for, and it's the last piece of a trade for the uh, Charizard from uh, Shining Fates. Still amazing how I pulled that. So I traded that to a friend for uh, two Switch games, uh, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, which you will see in a sec. Because there's a little story that goes with that, and uh, a surprise game, which I'm not going to uh, mention, but I will say it's a holy grail item for my uh, collection. I thought my bookshelf that I'm going to be using to store my games would come in by now, but uh, fortunately I have to find a different one. It was going to be a birthday gift from my parents. My birthday was in October, but it got delayed, and now uh, we bought it for Macy's. They said it won't come until October, so my dad and I both agreed, yeah, forget about it, we'll just find a different one. Which is a shame, because I love that bookshelf, but it's alright. Anyway. I have a lot to get through. I don't even know where to start. I guess we'll start with the one 3DS game. I actually almost sold this guy. And I'm glad I didn't because this is one of the only consoles I've actually purchased with my own money. And this was the first console I purchased all on my own. Which I know sounds weird, but... Uh, what I did buy is uh, Pokemon X. It's the World Edition, which I knew... But you couldn't beat $40 and it shipped the next day, which was awesome. I got another thing I wanted to show. Not like it's anything crazy, it's just what I'm using to store my Switch games in now. Used to have that POW block, which now stores my Vita games, but that's beyond the point. I did get two uh, Super Famicom games. You guys know I have... Uh... Oh wait, no, this is the wrong one. You guys know I got Mystery of the Emblem, and now I got a Genealogy of the Holy War, which is my second favorite Fire Emblem game. Really happy to have this, and this is actually going to tie in with the next thing I'm going to show for the other games, but there's like the map or whatever, the cartridge, and the other slip, so yeah, it is fully complete in box. Got this for a great price too. I think this is like 40, what did, what did I pay, like 40 something for this? And that's with, uh, it was close to 50 with tax and shipping. So it was really awesome. And then I also got a Sailor Moon game, which I haven't played yet, but. Uh, it's a beat em up Sailor Moon game, which I thought was uh, pretty cool. And I'll open this one up too. It's a nice manual. And the uh, cartridge. And then that little paper. I think from now on, I'm actually going to try and buy... Ooh, that sounded horrible. Super Famicom games. I'll move the Switch games, because I'm going to need a lot of space for what I'm about to show. Ooh, this is not really steady. There we go. Let me lock that in. I don't know how well this is going to pick on camera, but I actually got this... Before, I think it was readily available. I don't know how. I saw it on eBay and figured, yeah, why not? I love the color. But I finally caved in and bought a Retron 5. Got the cool, I guess we want to call it South Beach uh, color scheme, which is why I got it. It's been working great for me. I haven't tested a Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced. Or I should just say Game Boy Advance. I know people have said it's hit or miss with that, but we'll see. And, uh, yeah. So I'm really enjoying that. And that's why I'm going to buy Super Famicom games from now on, because 
completing a box it's cheaper and i can just uh patch it in an english translation and i'm good to go switch games i forgot where i left off with uh switch games I know I got arms. I forget if I showed arms in the previous video or not. All right, let me see. What is it? Uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate Astral Chain and arms. I think were the uh, previous ones I showed off. If not, my apologies. You're going to see a video of my entire Switch collection anyway. That's going to be a future video as well as uh, DS and 3DS, even though it's going to be a lot of empty cases. The weird thing is 3DS was the one console I just kept all my cases for. Wish I did that with my older consoles, but it is what it is. Even with DS, I have a decent chunk of uh, the cases still. But regardless, uh, here's Warriors Orochi 4 Ultimate, which, I've been, which I played a lot of and then... Went on to different games. So happy to have uh, Trials of Mana, finally. Catherine Full Body. Can't believe it took me this long to have this game, but... Oh well, and unfortunately this did not come with the uh, keychain. Finally got God Eater 3. <laughs> it's funny, uh, months, a couple months ago when I initially uh, bought it, uh, when I saw it was lost in the mail, I was or when UPS lost it, I was going to message game stop to see if I get a if I can get a refund and then that same day I got the refund anyway so that was cool so I have Immortals Phoenix Rising which I think is getting new DLC soon I haven't played this game yet though and then the next two were uh, part of the uh, trade for that Charizard and that's Luigi's Mansion 3 and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity every time my nephew's over we play this and I play this a lot with uh, my friend Rob and then I got a uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 I do like puzzle games. And then uh, when I went to Target one day to look for vinyls and then ended up finding Digimon packs. So I got two of those. Only two. You know, I'm not like, I'm not a jerk like everyone else and tries to buy out inventory. Well, th that and also they were restricting. Uh, as you guys know, they are restricting uh, training card sales, but... Uh, for some reason, that was not the case with uh, Digimon, because after I left, my one of my friends went there and got the last, I think it was five or seven packs. And then I went into GameStop randomly. I'm so sad the one in uh, Paramus Park closed. That was my favorite. I actually shed a tear. My friend and I, uh, my friends and I, uh, before, a little after we got to our locals, like, hey, let's go to uh, Paramus Park and check out the GameStop. And, uh, long and behold, we went there and it was gone. Sad. Very sad. It's one of the only game stops I liked going to. Although, ever since, uh, last year, I've primarily been buying off GameStop's website. Just because of the killer deals. Like, the reason why I've been able to, uh, upgrade my Switch collection so quickly is because I take advantage of GameStop's buy two games at twenty nine ninety nine or more and get a pre-owned game for half off. Because of that, I essentially get three Switch games for a little under 100 and that's with free shipping and tax included. So it's a pretty dang good deal. That's how I got Pokemon Sword for, I think it was 28 So that was awesome. Is that even in here? I don't even know if I showed that off in a previous video or not, but yeah, I got Pokemon Sword again. But here's a Robotics Note Elite Dash Double Pack, which is what I got from that one trip to GameStop. And what's cool about this one is it comes with pins. You guys know me. Oh, I love my pins. Yes, let's see. Uh, let's see my YouTube subscription feed from uh, what seven hours ago. <laughs> Got back from work. I'm home alone, so I figured let me uh record this before I eat and get comfortable, and upload this tonight before I forget. There are the pins. I gotta get a board or something uh, for my pins because I've tried putting a handful in my backpack on a backpack and it has not gone well at all. And then the final Switch game, never thought I owned this game again, but glad I did, and it's a lot more fun than I remember. I remember I boycotted this game when it first came out, and that's the uh, special edition for Fire Emblem Warriors. I had to purchase the special edition again 
just to get the soundtrack again. And I know what you guys are thinking, Rob, couldn't you just bought the uh, soundtrack separately? I could have, but I was able to win a bid for this for, I think, 40-something, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Obviously, I wish the box was in better shape, but, uh, you know, I can't really complain too much. I know that, I know games like this are notorious for having, uh, issues with that. Posters in here, and then what's cool is, what are these again? Art cards? Oh, character card set. So here the, so I kept that sealed because I actually have an open version of the, uh, an open version of the uh, character cards. I'll show those off more in detail when I do my Switch collection. But it's nice I get to keep one of those sealed. And then that's it for uh, Switch. Let's move on to PlayStation. This is an older uh, purchase from... Um, what should we call it? From Double Jump. This is from a while back, but here's uh, Wipeout 3. Love the Wipeout games. And then, for some reason, I thought this was Beyond Good and Evil on PlayStation 3 I was buying. But it was actually Beyond Two Souls. And I only got it because it was Steelbook. I'm like, oh, cool, Beyond Good and Evil, and it's Steelbook, sure. But no, it was Beyond Two Souls. I don't know how I messed that up, but still cool to have that. I did have the slip cover, but I think I got rid of it. And then on Amazon, I bought this sealed for less than 20 that's final fantasy chronicles it's sad that this is the first time i'm owning chrono trigger i mean i've played it before but i've played it before and beaten it but that was of course with uh, emulators but it's nice to have an actual copy of that and then my favorite final fantasy game of all time and one of the better versions of the game i know the psp version everyone says is the best but and then to round up I think it was Tales of Zelia 1 I bought off Double Jump. I know one I got on my trip to Tampa. And I forget about this one, but... I bought the Steelbook, which came with the soundtrack. I accidentally uh, destroyed the uh, CD for the soundtrack. I mean, it, it's in my laptop at least, but you guys know me. I love collecting uh, soundtracks. Again, that's going to be a future video, but... I mainly got the Steelbook because it had two slots. So I just have the first and second game in here. Again, and then another video I'm going to do is my Steelbook collection. Uh, for Vita, I finally got a Dragon's Crown. My friend helped me get a lot of uh, Vita games. So I have Dragon's Crown, and then Loose. I never like getting Vita games loose, but for these games, I couldn't pass up on it, especially for the price. So glad I finally own uh, the first two Danganronpa games, and I have Ultra Despair Girls, Girls again. Can't believe how much of that game shot up in price. I used to own it physically. I remember getting it pre-owned from GameStop in the 20s, and when I initially sold my old Vita, I remember I sold that game for, I think, 60 and I think that's what it's going for around... I think that's what it's going around for right now, used. So, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, then here's my uh, grip case for the Switch with the Roy sticker. And then I also got uh, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Got this months ago. Still have not played it. I got that for selling my Ultimate Rare collection along with this. I did an unboxing for this next game I'm going to show you guys. If I remember where I put it. Oh, hey, cool. I actually found uh, some stuff. Here's the soundtrack. And here's the Pokemon X case. So yeah, the only difference is it just says this on the side, but the cartridge is the American. I may still have my old... Uh, they still have my old case for Pokemon X. They should. Did I not put it back here? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm somewhat organized for once. So I did get uh, Trails of Cold Steel 4. Of course, I had to get the, uh, what was this, Deluxe Edition? 
So this is what it comes with. Soundtrack, hardcover art book, which is still in here. Steelbook, cloth poster, which is somewhere else. And art cards, which are in here. I'm not going to show the art cards because uh, it even says on the uh, in the packaging uh, it may contain spoilers. So, But I will show the box. I still have not completed the first game, so <laughs> got a long ways to go. And then I still need to buy uh, two and three, except I'm going to have to buy the, uh, you know, the collector's box editions of those two, and that's not going to be cheap. I've also been debating whether or not to buy it for Switch as well. It'd be kind of weird to have it on two consoles, though. I mean, at one point I did own it on, uh, whatchamacallit, Vita. Uh, before I get to the other PlayStation stuff, uh, I was so happy to finally have a new copy of Radiant Dawn because every, or the couple used versions I've had just broke it on me. And my friend and I thought this was the, uh, same version with, uh, or this was the original version with the manual. I mean, for 150 you thought it would be, and the listing on eBay made it out to be, but unfortunately this is the reprint version, so it does not have the manual. It just says the viewing the game manual, so... I would like to get the actual manual. And another way you can tell uh, it's a reprint version. Here's a reprint disc and here's the regular. So the uh, reprint is more uh, more faded. I don't know if my camera can... Uh, get, you know, yeah, my camera can... Or my phone can... You, you can tell the difference. So a regular copy is a lot darker than the uh, reprint. So that's how you can tell the difference. But the case is are pretty much the same. As far as I can tell. So that was a bit of a bummer, but that's alright. And uh, something I did also buy was a PSP. Very happy to own a PSP again. I like how the listing said this was fuchsia blue. I'm pretty sure this is mint green though, and that's the one I was really going for. I somehow found this for under 100 which is a really good price for a PSP, and this is the PSP 2000. So, I did also buy a lot of uh, PSP games. If you guys remember from previous Retro Game Treasure unboxings, I had Killzone Liberation, the Hot Shots Dual Pack, and Little Big Planet. And then before I actually even got my PSP in the mail, my friend Brandon hooked me up with Sonic Rivals, and Spongebob Squarepants Yellow Avenger, and I haven't opened these yet for whatever reason. Oh, right, here's the soundtrack to uh, Trails of Cold Steel. There's the disc, which is really shiny. I like how they did that. And here's the uh, Steelbook, which also comes with... Wait, did this come with it? The... Oh yeah, I think... Uh... I think there was a smaller uh, disc as well that, uh, like a smaller soundtrack that came with Trails of Cold Steel 4. I think it's in the big box though. Oh, okay, and it was Tales of uh, Zelia 1 I got from uh, Double Jump. Glad their online store is up and running again. It's insane how quick uh, they expanded the store and whatnot. This was sealed. Oh, when I bought it, but, uh, Fantasy Golf Pena, or Pena Fantasy Golf. You guys know me, I love my golf games. Oddly enough, I think this was my most played Vita game, uh, PSP game, that's Thrillville. I gotta get off the rails too, even though I have it on Steam. So happy to have, uh, that, that is not the other Wipeout game. <laughs> there we go. So happy to have Wipeout Pure Impulse. I got these both in a bundle for 20, which is awesome. I mean, you can find a Greatest Hits version of Wipeout Pure sealed for 5 bucks, but Pulse is around 20 The only thing is the uh, hinges for the uh, UMD holder are kind of... Oh, they're broken, but that's no big deal. And then I got these, th and then the last three PSP games, and I believe the last three uh, games for this video, I got these in a bundle for... I think 20-something. That's Lumi's Puzzle Fusion, 
Ape Escape on the Loose, and Dynasty Warriors. You want to get the other Warriors games for uh, PSP as well. And then whichever ones I'm missing on Switch. But yeah, just to show you guys that those are all complete. Then I have a list of PSP games I'm looking to buy, and I had a list of uh, games I wanted to buy off the uh, PlayStation Marketplace before it closes on the uh, Vita. But now, as we know, it's not closing. Yay. Good. That and the PS3, but the PSVP store is still going to close, which doesn't matter to me because uh, I actually cannot connect to the internet. My monitor, my router is so new that, uh, or yeah, my router is too new for the PSP. Uh, PSPs cannot uh, recognize WPA2, so in order for your uh, PSP to connect to your router... You'd have to change the security on your router, and that's a big no-no. That is something you never want to do, so. Not a big deal. I'm a physical junkie anyway, so it doesn't bother me. Last couple things I want to show. Bought this case for my Switch games on uh, Amazon. They all fit nice and uh, tight there. And I basically organized this in uh, order of... Uh, how old they are in my collection. Except for Let's Go Eevee. I forgot about that. Probably because I don't have the case. But those are all there. And then I did buy Animal Crossing again. Because my one friend wouldn't shut the hell up about me buying it again. Uh, but uh, I bought that digital. This holds 40 games. Which is pretty cool. I technically could put Animal Crossing as the 27th. And I still have my case for Animal Crossing. Might just do that. But... I don't want to buy a loose copy just just for that reason, but yeah, this nifty thing holds 40 games. I like how it has this clip here, but yeah, so I guess sneak peek of my uh, Switch collection. And I know Octopath, I recently did rebuy, but I had to put it as my second oldest because it still was, even though I sold it. I mean, I had to uh, give it to a friend when I uh, sold it my Switch. Switch Lite, I mean. And then an update on my fight stick. I took off a lot of stickers. Put them on my uh, archive for my uh, trading card games. But I know a lot of people are like, you should not have put so many stickers on there. They're going to get damaged from the sweat from your hands. And that actually was not the case at all. But I got to say, it does look a lot cleaner now. You can actually see the residue from the other stickers that I haven't put on there yet. So, of course, we have the feather from uh, Subasa Reservoir Chronicles, since that's my favorite anime. Had to put... I was thinking of keeping uh, Noel here, but instead, I figured let's put Yuri there. And then, of course, the Sneak Bunny, because I love drinking uh, Sneak Energy. And then on the side, we still have the Hirosho sticker. Nothing on the side here. And then on the top, we have the uh, Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger, because that was the first fighting game I really played competitively. And then, of course, the Juness sticker. That had to stay on there. <laughs> I am looking at buying another uh, fight stick very soon, though. Only because one of the... I think it's this button is messed up, because when I went to change the buttons, I actually accidentally pulled our wire too hard with... Uh, my nippers I use for uh, Gundam uh, models. And yeah, I kind of broke one of the wires, so that sucks. But yeah, looking at getting probably the uh, Itoki fight stick. But uh, we shall see. I may just ride with this one until... Until I know for sure fight sticks that are compatible with the uh, PS5, because I know that's hit or miss, but... For now, I'll just rock with this, and it's funny how I changed from playing fighting games on PS4 to PC because I started to hate the player base on the PS4, and now I've reverted back because there's not as many people playing on PC as I thought. Yeah, boy, did I mess up. <laughs> but anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Um, I'm hoping to upload more frequently. I know I said I wanted to start streaming and whatnot, and that's never happened, but life happened. But uh, Friday is my last day at my current job. 
I was working at my dad's donut shop ever since it opened in 2014. He recently sold it in, he sold the business in October. And uh, yeah, Friday's my last day there. I'm really excited. Gonna have basically a month free to uh, record however I please before uh, the new business opens up, which I'm excited for. And something I realized is I can record pretty much every night like fireball randomizers like I wanted to because I could be in this room I'm currently in till like three, four in the morning and my parents will not be able to hear my voice from their room, which is awesome. And the reason why I know this is because I've been playing a lot of NHL 21 uh, with my friends from different uh, states, obviously. We always play Chell. We have a... We, we play 6v6, obviously. And I've been uh, doing a lot of that recently. And I'll be... You know, I'll be talking with them, cursing here and there, uh, celebrating goals and wins and our frustrations and whatnot. And my parents uh, can't hear it, which is awesome. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to start a uh, randomized Fire Emblem playthrough. Not sure which game I'm going to do yet. I want to actually do Path of Radiance, but I have to see if I can get that working properly because uh, the past couple times I've tried to randomize it and play through and it just kept crashing on me or just didn't really work the way I thought it would. So I'm thinking either that or I'll go with uh, Sacred Stones, except really tinker with the settings to make it uh, difficult for me as Sacred Stones is notoriously an easy game to beat but anyway that is going to do it for this uh haul video slash update thank you guys as always for watching and uh i'll see you next time bye for now